In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make lime cello. Right, so guys, here I've got 500 ml of vodka, and here are our limes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to carefully peel each one, and what we really wanna do is peel it in a way that we don't get any of that white stuff on it, because if we get this white stuff on it here, then that's gonna make our lime cello very bitter. I'm just gonna pop them into here. So let's just go ahead and peel all of these. And you can use a stronger alcohol for this if you want to. You don't have to use vodka. You can use um, grappa or 96% alcohol. I mean, vodka's easy to get your hands on, so that's why I'm using that. And the results are pretty much the same, to be honest. So I'm gonna pop these limes in the fridge for now and we'll use them for something else. So here we've got our lime zest and we're just going to pour over that vodka. And so we're gonna leave this now for one week. So let's put the lid on this, put it in a dark, cool place, and then we'll be back in one week to carry on the process. So guys, this has been soaking for one week and I'm super excited to see how it smells. Color's quite amazing. I mean, this is lime, but actually it's gone quite yellow. Let's strain this now. So here I have a jug with a sieve on top and I'm just going to pour this straight into the jug. Wow, the lime pill's really lost its color. It looks a bit sad. Just make sure we get every drop out of that. And now we're just going to pour this into our bottle. So I've got a funnel in the top here. It's just so it makes it easier to pour it in. So now we are ready to make our simple syrup. What I'm gonna do is get 200 grams of granulated sugar and put it into our saucepan. Then I'm going to add 500 ml of water put the heat on and we want to mix this continuously for about 15 minutes just to make sure that everything is combined it's really important that the sugar dissolves otherwise it will start to crystallize in our drink now the simple syrup is done i'm just going to pour it into our jug and then allow it to cool so now that this simple syrup has cooled we are going to pour it into our limoncello bottle Whilst this is actually technically ready to drink now, we actually want to leave this for another week. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put the lid on and I'm gonna have a little taste just to let you guys know what I think of it because it is my first time trying this. So it's still a little bit warm and you are meant to serve limoncello, limoncello, that sort of thing, cold from the freezer. Um, but just for the sake of this video, I'm gonna try it as it is. Not too much, just a little bit. Cheers. So my opinion, guys, is that it tastes very similar to limoncello. It's got a slight limey flavor. I think I might actually prefer it to limoncello, which is quite surprising. Yeah, it tastes really good. I highly recommend giving this recipe a go. And if you like this video, you will really like this other video where I show you how to make limoncello, or you can follow the playlist below, and that will take you to all of the cello videos that I've made in a playlist.